Hello everyone, it's Raza Van Werder from the University of Mother God Church talking about patriarchy and matriarchy and I need to talk about sex because I noticed that there's a demand for it. They click more on the tapes that have sex in them than any other tapes. And that's not because people are low-minded, it's because people are desperate for answers. They have been wounded. Now, if you want to know this is one of the greatest books I have ever found. It's called The Woman's Encyclopedia of Myths and Secrets by Barbara G. Walker. Woman's Encyclopedia of Myths and Secrets by Barbara G. Walker. And this tells, I have not read it all. I've read bits and pieces. My oh God, look at how big it is. You know, bits and pieces, and I have my associate, William Bond, has taken some of these articles. I don't even know if, if this is available anymore. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's, that's a great study, something to study. Now, I talked about, last video I talked about patriarchy. Patriarchy is the culture of death. It is based on war and violence, exploitation, Patriarchy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. It comes to exploit. It has no respect for life. It has no love. It is demonic. Patriarchy is demonic. It has the spirit of Satan in it. The one-third of men who are demonic from the beginning are the ones who crafted patriarchy and the ones who fuel the spirit. They keep the spirit alive, the spirit of hate the spirit of exploitation, the spirit of stealing, killing, destroying, the spirit of everything evil. They keep it alive. The, and the evil one-third of men persecute the other men as well as women and animals and children and everything. They persecute the earth. They're demonic. War is demonic. Now, what is matriarchy, rule of the mother? The mother teaches love. This is what they were jealous of in the first place. The mother has authority because she reproduces. She is a reproductive cell. A human male is not reproductive. His sperm cannot, can only give the DNA information to the woman. If you want to know about what is the difference between male and female, read Dr. Brian Sykes from Oxford University. I read his material. In fact, I couldn't read. I had to do it on audio tape. <clears throat> and take notes. When a male, a male is really a partial female. He's not a complete human being that can reproduce. He's a partial female. When the fetus is the size of a grapefruit seed in the womb, in the mother's womb, changes occur which alter the fetus to become a male. And so his reproductive abilities are shut down and other parts of him than the energy and the strength and the ability of the biological abilities of the body turn into other avenues. And the man is different, as we know, in the brain as well as the body of a woman. And he's supposed to be the way he is, by the way. We'll get into that another time you know, the traits of being a male and being a female. But the female is maternal. The female has a m maternal instinct to take care of life. The man's instinct is minimal because he's made for something else. He's made to protect the women and children and the society. He's made to, he's, he's, he's bold with testosterone. He's bold. Because if a dinosaur, well, there were no dinosaurs when humans came, but okay. If a, a tiger came to attack the baby in the crib when the mother, to snatch the baby, the man, he has the testosterone and the boldness that the chemical testosterone gives him to grab a spear and try to stopped a lion or a tiger, you know what I mean? So, so whatever, that's another subject. But uh, basically, women are nurturing maternal, 
they care about life. Women are procreators. Their instinct is compassionate and, and, and empathetic. Em, empaths, caring, caring. Men aren't. Some men, of course, like Jesus and great saints, of course, there's exceptions to every rule. But again, in general, in general. So when men rule the world, the system becomes demonic because they don't care. They don't care about life. They don't care about others. And it's not all men. It's just the one-third that are demonic that rule the world. And by the way, we, we have a shadow government that runs the world. Some, you know, the word Illuminati is very common now. Everyone talks about the Illuminati. But we have a shadow government, which is like the most, the, the wealthiest trillionaire families on earth. And there's not that many of them. There's only, I read somewhere that there's only 6,000 of them, 6,000 of these people. But they are ruling the world. They are the patriarchs. And they're the ones who fund the wars on both sides, or, or three sides, whatever that is going on. They're behind everything. They're behind everything. They're the patriarchs. They're the demonics. Satan is the prince of this world. Satan rules this world, and he rules through men. So they don't care. Women care. When we had matriarchy, we had no war. When we worshipped a mother god, we had no war. We had no poverty. Now we have homelessness. The richest countries in the world. People are all over the streets. Homeless, poor. Dying of hunger. In this wealthy, big world. Why? Patriarchy. They want it that way. If you read Karl Marx, the way he explains, you know, how case systems are created in order to have... Why do they want untouchables? To give them, make them do all the dirty work. They are the poorest people or the most disempowered people. They're, they're either, they either make you a slave or they make you an economic slave. And you get to do all the dirty work. You don't have any rights. You don't have the freedom of speech because you can't afford the freedom of speech. It takes money to speak. It takes money to make books. It takes money to go on television. It takes money to have a computer and speak as I am speaking. Everything takes money. So the poorest of the poor have no money. So they have no freedom of speech. Where are they going to preach? Where are they going to teach? On the street? In their rags? So matriarchs teach love. Now that's why they don't want young men to be with old women. Old women are going to teach them the culture of love. Old women are going to teach them not to go to war. Old women will teach them to love women. Patriarchs don't want young men or any men to love women. They want them to use women. They want them to hurt women. They want them to have sex with women, use them and abuse them and throw them aside, or use them for breeding, dominate them, beat them up, treat them like dirt. This is what patriarchy wants. Patriarchy, they used to preach from the pulpits that it was a good thing to beat your wife. Men used to kill women with impunity all the time. Even today they still do. A woman, and it's many times in self-defense, a woman kills a man in self-defense. A woman gets a sentence seven times harsher than a man gets for killing a woman. For a woman to kill a man and a man to kill a woman. The woman gets seven times of a harsher sentence than does the man. I have seen many, many men get away with killing women. Completely, scot-free. Completely. In the old days, that used to be more prevalent. Today, it's not quite as easy. But back in the day, I remember reading about if a guy, a guy was stinking drunk, stinking drunk, and he killed a female and her mother, both of them, 
and a doctor came and testified for him that he's okay because he didn't know what he was doing. He was stinking drunk. And the guy got off afraid. And then men are sleepwalkers. They walk in their sleep and they kill people in their sleep. And that is, they get off on sleepwalking. Then they got off on temporary insanity for killing women or men, or men actually, yeah. More, more, they used to, you know, kill men in jealousy and they'd get off for temporary insanity. Well, things have improved a little bit in some ways, but in some ways, no. I just recently saw a uh, thing where men are abusing children like crazy. And a woman who let a 12-year-old boy touch her breast, just touch it, touch the breast. The judge, this is in Las Vegas, gave her a life sentence. Life, life sentence! As if she was an axe murderer and killed a dozen people. Life sentence. This is how much men hate women. The demonic ones. The demonic ones. Now, the innocent men, the men who are not evil, not demonic, what the demonic evil men do is they molest them when they're children. I believe that... You know, the statistics say 49%, the military statistics say 49% of females and 25% of boys are molested by their fathers. This does not factor in all the other men that molest children. Grandfathers, uncles, brothers, leaders of all types, Boy Scout leaders, choir directors, priests and all that. This does not factor that in. They damage, I, I believe, yeah, no, wait, let me finish my point. I believe that seven, maybe, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but I believe that 75% of all females are molested sexually and 50% of all boys, at least, if not more, by men. I'm talking children. I'm not talking teenagers, teachers with teenagers in high school. I'm talking children from the time of diapers, you know, from the day they're born to when they become teenagers and mature sexually. I'm talking about serious stuff. We're talking about serious stuff, sodomy and stuff, on little children. Very serious, very serious business. To be continued. <laughs>